Hi, I'm Susan Evans from SusanEvans.org and today I'm going to show you how to decorate a walking stick. First, you need to find some sticks that are sturdy enough that if you lean on them they will not crack. And um, it should be the appropriate height. If it's for a child, it should be a little bit shorter. And so, and about that diameter is good, about an inch in diameter is nice. And why would you want a walking stick? Well, any of you who have gone hiking through the woods know that it's helpful to have a walking stick to go uphill or downhill. Um, and if you're collecting mushrooms or other kinds of nature studies, it helps to have a stick that you can push against um, a rock or something like that or a bush in order to see like a snake or something. You don't want to touch it. Uh, those kind of things. So we are going to decorate these sticks to make them look fabulous. Here we are. We have painted our walking sticks and so Brian has painted his stick with different shades of blue and black and we have camouflage with light green and dark green that was uh, striped but it doesn't look striped anymore and then we have black and red which looks kind of like a coral snake and so if you actually if those of you at home want to do a stick that looks identical to a snake you could paint it exactly like a snake and then walk along in the woods with that and then we have of course the pink and light pink of my daughter's one. Now we're going to attach some feathers. You need to decide where the top of your stick is. So this is the top of her stick and so we are going to choose three feathers which she did. Okay, And those three feathers we are going to tie together with some string so that they hang down. Okay, So first you get some string you just cut it to have whatever length that you think and then tie it and um, you could let let them out a little bit however far you want them to be and then tie it real tight okay you see how just I laid it down under it and then um, put laid them on top okay so the string is laid down first then the feathers on top and then you just do that and adjust them before you tighten it. Okay, So once you have this, you decide kind of where you want it at the top. You want it down a little bit from the top um, depending on where you're going to hold it. And then we are going to tie the knot here. Okay, And if you want you can um, just have the feathers only and the um, and then that's it and just have this just this beautiful um, see beautiful stick just like that you don't need any further embellishments and I didn't mention about the um, paint uh, you can use whatever paint you want but if you want to use it outdoors um, in the rain, you'll want waterproof paint um, that's good on wood, um, so outdoor kind of paint uh, would be probably better than tempera paint. We're going to okay. add some more feathers to the top. Usually um, three would look beautiful, okay? So um, we are going to get the string, and I will show you once again how to do that, okay? First cut a length off, okay? So you, you could tie it when it comes there. Then make sure that it overlaps the bottoms. Then very gently tie it like this. And then you don't want to crush that top one at all. And you want to pull this, this yellow one down a tiny bit. Okay, so, and you see how you can just pull it back like that and you can even cut off some on the top so you don't have to mess with it. See how pretty that is? Okay, it looks almost like an earring or something. 
Okay, so we're going to add that to the front of this to make it even more lovely. See that? She also wants to add this beautiful um, sparkly gold ribbon between each color transition. So we're going to hot glue that on all the way down to the bottom. Okay, so you just put hot glue along the edge, okay, and then get your ribbon and put it on and then for the overlapping part put another bead and be really careful not to put your finger on top of that actual unless you do it super fast otherwise do it with the scissors or something so you don't burn yourself here we have um i just tied this one and then i made another loop so you could stick it in the loop and tighten it. <laughs> Isn't that cool? And then you can go like this and then stick it in the loop and then tighten it. Okay. So, did you want this one on the top? Yeah. You do. Hmm. Then we could turn this over. Hmm. How about that? Okay. Okay. So, there we have it, and we can tie that to this stick. Now this stick looks like a coral snake, so my son wanted to have something gold or yellow. Uh, um, red on yellow, kill a fellow. Red on black, friend of Jack. So we don't want red on black because he wants it to look like a poisonous snake. So we're going to go ahead and hot glue them on. Okay, so for this one, we went ahead and got some uh, black feathers, and then we are tying them on so that they uh, go downward, and then we cut off that. Now, as, as you'll see, if anything falls out, you might have to attach them one by one. So look on the counter once again and you lay it on there then you um, tie it like that and then you tie it again to make sure it doesn't come off okay so if you if you tie several at once it might they might slip out so you want to make sure that they're secure so if you want just go ahead and do each one separately to make it more secure okay and then what we're going to do is I'm gonna get twine. Um, you, could, you could do this too. Yeah, I'd rather have twine. Twine, okay. Let me see. We'll the have leather somewhere leather else. Leather looks this. really good too. Um, I'm going to tie it in a knot. On top of the feathers, okay. So then, Brian, what you can do is you can wind it, see like this, okay? You go on top of it, see, so let that go down. Okay, let's get this on camera here. Okay, see here this? Okay, so you want to get that on the bottom and then wind it and it can be on top of each other like this it's much better if you can actually get a big roll off and and actually cut it so it's easier to to wind but you basically just go it doesn't have to it can be all on top of each other just keep going round and round here you want to do that sure okay Okay, so because you're tying them down tighter, this is a little bit tighter, but it looks good. I like it. Yeah. Crow feathers. Okay, keep going. And it looks nice and earthy. So we will probably want to cover the, um, 
cover the feathers. Tips. Now, you could either stop there, or you could go all the way up to here and have a place to for your I'd hand. Stop. I'd rather stop there. Okay, so see how nice that decoration is. Then what we want is to get the scissors. Go ahead and hand me the scissors. And then you tie it in a knot. Okay, so you cut it just wherever. And then you tie it in a knot. And then tie it again. You could also tie a knot like this, okay? And then I just kind of cut it, okay? See? It's quite nice. I like it. What we did is we did one loop around, okay? So, for example, we did one loop around like this, okay? And then we went down and up, okay? And then we tied it along the top, okay? So we tied it along the top. Then this started scooting up. See how that scoots up over there? So with a second um, bit of uh, leather, what we're doing is we are pulling it tight on the bottom, okay? So see how I'm, I'm threading it through on the bottom. Can you see that on there? Okay. And then I'm yanking it down. Okay. And then we are going around one more time to match the top that has two. So we go to the back. You see how we tied that first one? So we tie this. You do not need to do this, okay? So teenagers or Boy Scouts could probably do even more complicated types of knots or decorations with leather. You see how there are two different things and it's um, pretty nice. And we didn't actually use any hot glue for that. So this, we want another one of these up here to add continuity to the um, to the stick, okay? So I'm going to show you how to do this, okay, kind of close up here. Uh, so first, we want to leave enough along the top that we are going to um, tie it with, okay? So you go across the top, okay? Then you go down in an X, around it to the top, okay? And then we are going around it one more time and then tying it on the back, okay? So there's barely enough to tie it along the top. You could um, get, make it a little bit longer and then clip them off, you know, so it's easier to tie, okay? So it's nice and tight. So then you go back to the beginning, you scoot that up to itself, okay. Now you get that other one. And actually, that is so tight. I wouldn't even have to, I could just go across twice. This yeah. is super easy this time. Yeah. I think the reason is because um, it was more slippery down yeah, here because it's smooth, whereas this, there's this friction that it doesn't move. So, go across it twice. This is gonna be super easy compared to the last one because the laces are longer, so just tie it super tight and cut it off. Okay. As you can see on this walking stick, he has um, put decorations above the gray. Above the gray, above the gray, he's going to add this, above the gray there, and above the gray down here. So that adds continuity to the whole thing and you can tack down that actually if this is the front you want to have um, the front not have any seams so you'll put this on the back 
and just tack it down. This is kind of a, a ribbon that has sort of burlap feel to it. It's nice to have earthy kind of um, feeling to your uh, sticks, especially if you are, uh, you know, walking in nature. Here we have our light green and dark green camouflage stick and um, instead of feathers he wanted to have some leaves and so we have some fake leaves. They're not silk. They're, um, I don't know what they are, but anyway, I happen to have them already. So you could poke through. This is just a Christmas ornament thing. You could also poke through it with a nail or with an ice pick. Of course, uh, parent supervision is necessary um, unless you're a teenager or something. Okay, so then you weave all those together like a nice earring. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just twist it like a twisty. Okay, like a twist tie. All right, so then this is going to be attached and so I'm going to attach it with string just like we have attached other things with string. So I am tying a knot first to the wire rather than, see how I did that? Okay, and then again. Now you want it right here, Nathaniel? A little bit higher. Okay, all right. Now, turn it around, hold it again, hold this. Okay, so we are tying this a knot. Okay, there we go. And we get the scissors and we cut it off. Now, it's nice to have something covering up that string because it's string. Um, the reason I use that string is because it's nice and strong to hold it in place. Um, if you want, let's see, that's too light. Um, that's too glittery because you like it kind of earthy. So I would say twine is probably our best bet. So this, and we can wind it around and around. Does that sound good? No. No. Okay. okay. Um, otherwise, we will need to use something like burlap. And this, you can actually do it right where your hand is going to be. So you have a nice comfy okay. handhold. So you could have like two or three, like have a whole handhold. Should we well, do how, that? How about, fr how about from the leaves all the way up? From the leaves all the way up for that handhold. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to... Uh, wind it in such a way that we can tie it. Okay, so we start at the bottom, turn it around. Okay, hold it. Um, I mean, I mean the stick. Okay, so we are tying it. And then we want to tie it twice to make sure that it's a nice, strong knot. And you just really hard. Okay. All right. And then we don't want that to show, so make sure that's exactly in the back. See how nice that's already let go? Okay. And then we wind it really nice and tight. Wind it really tight. Stop. You don't want to. That looks really good. You want it all the way to the top? Yeah, all the way to the top. I cut yeah. another piece and on the front where it looks gorgeous, you do that. And on the back, we're going to just tie it really tight in a knot. That way it can stay really, really tight. Okay, and there's this. If there's anything hanging off that you don't like, you can cut it away and 
we are tying it super, super tight. Okay, see how it is from the back? Now look from the front. Nice strong hold and that looks fabulous just the way it is. And here we are with our finished walking sticks looking absolutely fabulous. Taking a close-up look at my daughter's one that looks beautiful. Taking a close-up look at my oldest son's one. We are looking at this gorgeous camouflaged one and we have the snake one the coral snake looking one absolutely fabulous walking sticks and we're ready to go on a hike